Hi there, welcome to BSF Recovery Team. We ventured out on the muddy red trail to see if we could catch any off-road action going on. That's when we found this jeeper here just setting up to wedge himself out of this mud hole. So naturally we stopped to watch and film the action. When he got to the steep edge of the mud hole, his own wench started to stall out. When he stopped to get out to reassess the situation, we asked him if he wanted to continue to try and wench himself out, or if he would like some help with the wrecker. He agreed that lifting it with the wrecker and wenching it out would be a whole lot easier. He proceeded to spool in his own wench cable when we moved the wrecker into place. When he tried to restart his Jeep again, that's when things went bad. His, when he turned it over, did you see it? I'm not kidding. Did it go out? Yeah, don't turn it over. I can show you on the camera. They were there. I but I don't see the flames now. Okay, because it went like. We weren't sure what caught fire but it didn't look like anything was burning right at the moment. So we decided the best thing to do would be to wench it out and then assess the situation. I had started out with the tow truck in a position that was far enough away to wench the Jeep completely out of the mud hole. But as you can see, the tow truck decided to slide in the mud. So now, we had to stop wenching the Jeep and reposition the tow truck. We also found out that with all the mud and water packed into the Jeep's brakes, they didn't want to work very well either. So we had to put it in park.
tramsed out of the mud. It was time to address the burning issue as to what caught fire. Yeah. Let's take a look. It's looking a little crispy in there. Huh? For the winch. Yeah. But that isn't the same ones that starts off of, is it? No, it's not. Okay. The only thing that we could find were some melted wires, namely the battery cables that ran the winch. This is your negative here. Yeah. No, I'm just making sure everything's right. Right. You know. Don't want to get too carried away here. No more winch. No more winch for the day. Yeah. <laughs> is this your first time coming to dresser? Yeah. Well, that kind of looks like the only thing that's fried, so let's see if it starts on fire. I felt my feet thinking as I was taking steps. It's okay, she caught me yesterday. I'm so hot. Yeah. 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 Are you going to want to tow back to camp or are you going to keep messing with it? Or? Cool down for a couple minutes and yeah. see what happens. That could be part of this, that stupid baffle bizarre. Do you want to flat tow it or do you want me to pick it up? Uh, okay. Just tried firing, you saw the smoke come back off the intake. Have your buddy try to fire it up, and you can see. It ain't gonna fire if you can't push the exhaust off. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the Okay. Um, so, what's the plan, sir? Uh, we're gonna see if we can flat tow it over the wash rack. Uh, we'll use, probably use a long strap to try and get him up. The plan was to get the Jeep up to dry ground and loop around to the left and go out the way we came in. Her original plan was to go the other way, but obviously the mud changes that. <laughs> the direction we wanted to go. Well, we can get out this way too. Honey, don't! You're gonna drop the tow truck! Ryan, get the Jeep! He's gonna drop! It's already done. Or, at least I thought we could get out this way. We might have gotten ourselves into a little trouble here, but you'll have to wait till next week to find out what happens. Keep wheeling, stay safe, don't forget to subscribe, and maybe we'll see you out there in the woods.